Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Dearly beloved in Christ, I greet all of you in the name of our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the peace, grace, and joy of the Lord be your portion in Jesus' name. This week, it is Pensions Week. And we are so glad that the church has given us this week to honor our pensioners. It's a week that we pray for those who have worked full-time ministry in the Lord's Vineyard and they've gone on retirement. And we pray for them, we encourage them by calling them and by strengthening them. And we also give out generously to support them in their pension. It is something that has been done over the years, but this year we want to take it to another level. Gladly enough, this year, one of our ministers will be going on pension. I'm talking about Pastor Otis Adogli. In August, he will be on pension. Next year, one of our ministers will join the, the queue. And then next two years, it will also follow. So it is better for us to prepare so that if they go on pension, we'll be able to take care of them in a very befitting way. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verses 6 to 10, and I read from the New King James Version. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For if he sows, or he who sows to the flesh, will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows in the spirit, will of the spirit reap everlasting life. The Bible says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we do not lose our. And I like verse 10. It says that, therefore, if we have opportunity, if we have opportunity, if we have opportunity, let us do good to all those, especially those who are of the household of faith. These ministers and wives had blessed us. They prayed for us. They prepared sermons, teachings. Let us as a church and they now on retirement. We should also, in a way, bless them in their retirement. In praying for them, encouraging them, don't let them feel lonely. Let them know that we are in a body of Christ. We are in one body. This Church of Pentecost is a unique church. We take care of our ministers and we take care of our pensioners. I want you to give out of your very good heart. There is a man in the Bible, in third John, his name was called Gaius. The Bible says that when Apostle John was writing, he wrote to Gaius, he said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. This scripture, many people quote it, and they expect to receive the blessing in the scriptures, but they don't want to do what Gaius did. Gaius took care of the ministers. He sent them off in a befitting way. So John heard of his good deeds, and then John prayed that he wished above all things that he prosper and be in good health, just as his soul prosper. I pray that you give generously and you pray for our ministers, those especially those who are on pension. You call them, encourage them, and also tell them that you are at their back. You are backing them in every aspect. If there is any good thing that you can do, not only financial blessing, but if there is anything that you can do to help them, you should do it. And I believe that our good God, our covenant keeping God will really bless you. God bless you as you continue and as you give to us pensions. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to just give you a brief understanding of the pensions week sometimes it is difficult when especially when you are pension as a pensioner and you are no more in active service sometimes life becomes very very difficult 
and it is good that the church continue to remember and to pray for the pensioners not only to pray for them also but also to visit and encourage them sometimes some of them are lonely some of them their children have grown up and they have gone and some of them sometimes they become very old and they cannot do any other thing maybe the only thing that they can do is to go on their knees and pray for the church but it is also also very good that the church continue to remember them and pray for them always and also extend a hand of fellowship to them and also maybe sometimes visit them with some love gifts the pension week is to remember all what our pastors and apostles and prophets have done for this great church and also for the membership uh, on the messages that they have given the prayers that they offered unto God even the traveling that they've gone across from one district to the other you remember all these things and then you give an offering to support the pensioners we pray that as you did this thing the Lord God Almighty the owner and sustainer of his church will continue to bless you and keep you and protect you may the Lord richly bless you as we enter into this week pensions week we pray that you give and as you pray also to support the pensioners God richly bless you thank you and God bless you again amen we want to thank every one of you we know you are in concern for everything that we want to do this is the pension board and we are praying that as this week we are doing the pensions week we entreat each and every member of the church of pentecost to help and participate whatever we are going to do the next week that we are going to enter and on sunday by the grace of god we are going to offer towards the pension board if any minister goes to pension this offering that we are going to do and the sequence ones is what we are going to come out and then give something to that person so that he can use that one as his pension rest and so we want to entreat each and every one and we know as you used to do every time this one too you're going to do it and do it well and at the end of it our god who is our god is going to bless each and every one we thank you all for hearing me and you are going to use it to be the doer of everything that we are going to do may the lord who is able to bless you continue to bless you and keep you from ever falling in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ thank you for hearing me in jesus name amen the kingdom of your son build your church lord make us strong lord join our hearts lord through your son